Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about what is hydrographics. Of course, if you're already um, subscribed to the channel, you probably already know that we do tons of hydrographics on um, pretty much um, everything. And so if you're new here, then of course, what is hydrographics? So uh, let's talk a little bit about what is hydrographics, what it is, um, how it works, and pretty much what all you can do with it. So. Hydrographics is a very cool process. It's an older process, but it's very cool because you can apply a printed pattern to a three-dimensional object. So camouflage on guns and four-wheelers or wood grain in your car or anything like that that you could even think of. We can now even do custom printed patterns on just about anything that can be painted. It is vastly, extravagantly, huge market that you can do just about anything with. And so let's talk a little bit about what it is and of course what you can do with it. So what is hydrographics? So hydrographics is pretty much a pre-printed pattern that is on a specifically designed film. And so the film is made from PVA, which is polyvinyl alcohol. You're probably not familiar with the actual term, but it's in everyday life and so for instance the uh, dishwashing packets that you buy to put in a dishwasher or even the little pods that you buy to put in a washing machine or anything like that because they're water dissolvable whenever the water hits them they dissolve all of the soap or liquid or something like that goes into the dishwasher or the washing machine um, pretty much those are all made from a PVA solution. And so uh, with film, it's very similar. Of course, we don't have packets, but we have a film that it's like this with a pre-printed pattern all over the top of it. And so what we do is, is we take and we can print that pattern on a specifically designed PVA film and then place it in the water. Now, whenever the PVA is laid down onto the water, the water is starting to absorb and of course break down that PVA. So once it's starting to do that process in, in our industry, normally it's about one minute at about 89, 80 to 90 degrees, then that allows the PVA to become very stretchy and very pliable and so it's able to be stretched around an object. And so once we have that really stretchy and really pliable state, now we need to liquefy the inks that are on this film right here, we need to make them into a liquid state. So then that way they can stretch because if not, if we try to dip it just like it is, it's not going to work. And so we have an activator that we apply to the film. And so once that activator is applied to the film, then that makes it to where it can now all be stretched and then the item can be dipped into the tank. Now, how do you get all the way around? Um, how do you get the film to go all the way around? So the water creates a 360 degree pressure all the way around the part. And so if you have a weird shaped object or some type of intricate object, that water helps fill in those voids and goes all the way around that entire object. So very cool process and it's a very unique process that a lot of people don't really know about and there's still a lot of customers that are finding out about the water transfer printing the hydrographics or anything like that it goes by tons of different names but they're all pretty much synonymous of this type of printing method so after you've got the film laid in the water it's sat for the time that it needs you've sprayed the activator you dip the film now you're able to pull it out once you pull it out of the water there is still excess pva that is on the part that still needs to be rinsed off so this is where the rinsing process comes in once you get your part and you have it rinsed off then you're able to now go through and do any touch-ups and of course apply a high quality clear coat over the top of it so then that way you get a good protective finish over the entire thing so one thing to note is is that whenever you're doing the hydrographics process this is something that has to have the correct base coat and so what i mean by that is is that you have to actually apply a paint 
to the object before it is dipped to get the right results. You can't just take any object and then dip it and then it come out and it work because the prints will not actually stick directly to a lot of those surfaces and a lot of those items. So it has to be properly prepped with the correct base coat and all the correct prepping beforehand before it's able to be dipped. And then after it's dipped, it's applied with the clear coat. So then that way you get a very hard and durable finish. Of course, clear coats can come in a gloss or a matte finish or anywhere in between, depending on the customer's preference. So hopefully this video has really helped you guys out. If you have any other questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you as well as if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks on anything hydrographics related. Also, if you're looking for any hydrographic supplies, definitely check out our website, liquidconcepts.com. It has everything that you're gonna need for doing anything with the hydrographics. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.